Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. A while ago I presented to you a wooden homemade little crossbow pistol that actually had, is just the size of a regular Colt Government 1911 model. And it worked great. And now someone designed it in 3D. It's a fellow German called Daniel, or Daniel as we would say here, and he actually made this one. <laughs> Yeah, well, don't be fooled by the color because it is really fully functional. It has a lot of rubber on it here. I mean, you can, of course, put as many rubber bands on it as you want to, but this is seriously powerful in this small package. And just like my wooden version, it has uh, room for five uh, arrows. So when Daniel came to me and presented it, I had a few improvements that I told him he should make. And um, also this one is not the final design, so um, I had to optimize it a little bit here. Now, between the two of us, we got it just right. He also needed some more space in here for the arrows. But now it is really fully functional and I love it. Cocking it is super easy. You simply pull on this little loop here, which makes it really comfortable. Okay, and then you push this back to the front and then you shoot. Bang! <laughs> and it has serious power. And if you want to shoot again, well, you repeat the same thing. You cock it, push it back to the front, and shoot. <laughs> so much fun, so accurate, and seriously powerful. But when I tried it with broadheads, everything changed. <laughs> How many of you guys know where this is stolen from? This one fires the same bolts as uh, the Steamboat Stinger does, and therefore it also fits the vicious mean broadheads made by Steamboat. The magazine actually fits a total of five bolts. Just put three of them in here, and um, you see how nicely they fit. And now, of course, it's a really deadly weapon, because these things are so mean and so vicious. And bang! <laughs> and bang! Oops! <laughs> One more! And took. Really accurate, seriously dangerous with the broadheads. I just love it. Well, the color is a little bit questionable, but uh, you can print it in any color you want, of course. A few details. What I really love is that you only have to remove these two screws and then you can take the front off, which makes it super easy to attach the bands because they are already under a little bit of a pretension and then it's of course quite hard to uh, put them on. So, but here you just release it and they are no longer under tension. You can very easily replace them. It's super, super comfortable. Now, of course, this is the string to cock it and I guess you could also attach something a little thicker, which is more comfortable. Um, yeah, but this one absolutely uh, works for me. Yeah, there's a few design things that I would change if I would be the designer. I don't like that the handle is completely straight. I would have preferred it to be a little bit wider here down here. So it looks a little bit more like the original 1911 Colt that I dearly love. Also a few details like here. This is a little thin in the original 1911. It's a little thicker, so it would look more closely like the original. But all in all, it's really a super good weapon. I love it, completely love it. And it's so reliable and so good. And bang. And it shoots like a dream. <laughs> and bang. <laughs> what do I think about it? I think it's just amazing what you can do with 3D printers these days. I mean, come on. <laughs> You can make this at home and it's really super dangerous and super deadly. That's why I love every bit of it. <laughs> I put the link to the download page for you down there. Daniel actually asked for a small contribution for his work. It's not much. I think it's around 6 or 650 or something, which I think he completely deserves because it's a lot of work to take this just from... I didn't even have sketches. All I had was just the original in wood. And um, no, this is uh, the color is, of course, not probably not the nicest in the world. But if you print this in black, I think it would also look super vicious. <laughs> in any case, I love it, and I hope you do too, because that's it for today. Wham, bang, thanks, and <laughs> yeah, bye bye. Yeah, okay, there's one more in there for you, and I'm going to shoot it just to be complete. And bang. <laughs>